Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, TV Support Call of Duty World War 2, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Friday is finally here, therefore it is time for Sledgehammer's weekly community update. Though, this week is going to be a bit different than normal, because not only do we have apparently two weeks worth of updates to discuss, but today also marked the beginning of Sledgehammer's new live stream series, which they will be doing every single week to go along with their updates, or at least I hope they're going to be doing it every single week. Remember when Activision said they were going to be doing a live stream series? and that lasted like maybe three weeks because of all the Modern Warfare 2 spam. I hope the same thing doesn't happen here with Call of Duty World War 2, but regardless, the first episode aired this afternoon, and there's a link to the VOD down there in the description in case you guys missed it. During today's stream, we learned that a major update is right around the corner here in Call of Duty World War 2, and even though they would not give us a set release date, it seems like next week would be the ideal time. Apparently, the update is being tested right now, and the reason why I think it's going to be next week is because in the blog post that they gave us, us, they revealed this week's Weekend Warfare, which is active right now, and they also revealed next week's Weekend Warfare and the Midweek Mobilized, which is really interesting. So, that seems to indicate that something else is going to be revealed next week, but of course, that is just pure speculation. We have no official dates whatsoever. I'm just saying it makes a lot of sense for the update to go through next week. Right now, details are pretty sketchy about the update, but we do know for a fact that Master Prestige Rewards will be part of that big update. Apparently, there will be lots of Master Prestige rewards, and they will also be retroactive, which means if you've been Master Prestige for a very long time, you will still get all of the rewards, though unfortunately, we still have no freaking idea what these rewards are going to be, though I imagine we will be learning more sometime next week. I have a feeling supply drops are going to be involved, because they did say retroactively, but really, we have no freaking idea, but I'm just happy that they have finally said that Master Prestige rewards are coming in the next big update. Moving away from that for a moment, like I said, a new Weekend Warfare just went live, and what Sledgehammer did is they activated a double XP event in Call of Duty World War 2. It's active right now and it will be live all the way until Monday, July 16th and that includes the Nazi Zombies game mode if you guys are fans of the Zombies mode and they've also added Hardcore Ricochet as well as the One Shot game mode for this weekend only so be sure to give those modes a try if you guys haven't already. I would like to say I'm still very confused as to why Hardcore Ricochet is not the default setting for the Hardcore game mode. Like a while back we all voted on this and over Overwhelmingly, fans said that they want Hardcore Ricochet to be the new norm, but either way, if you're a fan of Hardcore, you'll be very happy to know that Ricochet is returning this weekend, but unfortunately, guys, that is pretty much all for this week's community update. We do know that a major patch is right around the corner here in Call of Duty World War 2, but we don't know exactly what's going to be in that patch besides Master Prestige rewards, and I wish Sledgehammer would have elaborated a bit further during today's update, but I would like to say that the live stream was definitely a pretty nice touch. It was nice to see the developer talk about their game from their perspective and it was also really nice to see all the little stats that they threw into the live stream as well. So for those who don't know, they revealed that the Cavalry Division is now like the 6th most used division. It's like right down there with the Resistance Division, which is pretty interesting. And they also revealed that despite popular opinion, the Infantry Division is not dead as of right now anyway, which was news to me because it's been pretty much dead for me since the Division's overhaul. I pretty much only use Armored and Mountain with a little bit of Airborne thrown in there. But apparently, even after the overhaul, Infantry is still the most used division here in Call of Duty World War 2, with the Airborne Division being right behind it, and then Armored and Mountain basically being tied for number 3, which is pretty interesting. So, that's the kind of information we can get from these live streams, so hopefully Sledgehammer Games will continue them, and once again, link to the full VOD down there in the description. If nothing else, it's something to listen to while you play the game later on tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much all I have for you guys here in this video. We have a major update coming to Call of Duty World War to in the very near future, though sadly we don't know too much about it. So down there in the comments, let me know what do you personally hope to see in that update alongside the Master Prestige Rewards, and as always, I will keep you guys posted with more information as it becomes available. And speaking of more information, one final thing, if you guys didn't catch my previous video, I highly recommend it, because for the first time in pretty much a month, we have more details about Black Ops 4, because today, Treyarch revealed a bunch of information about the multiplayer beta as well as the Blackout beta. There will be two separate betas, and if you guys would like to learn more, there's a link to my video down there in the description. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, that's all I have for you guys here today. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Drop me a rating, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.